Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and it's time for the season finale of the Season of the Little Prince. The final quest is available. Help out the friend of the rose who struggles under the hail of stones in Eye of Eden. So for this one, we actually do have to go to Eden. Uh, and we'll have to go through the entire thing, so be ready. Okay, so let's head home and we will head to Eden. All right, so for the newer players, the Eye of Eden is the final level of sky. You need to have 20 winged light to enter. And it is a difficult level. So if you haven't played big spoilers ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, but you do have to die. You have to lose all of your winged light, but in the process, you'll gain some currency and you'll be able to uh, get some permanent winged light. So on top of all the Winged Light you can find in the realms, you'll also get a few from every spirit in the game, as long as you purchase them. So to enter, we just have to open these doors by lighting each and every one of these. It does glitch on occasion. And I'm going to speed it up just a little bit, but I'll still talk you through it. Alright, so this is the Eye of Eden. This part is not too difficult, it's just extremely windy. There are ways to go through this a lot faster, but I'm going to show you the actual way, which is to wait until these stones stop, and then we'll go through there. Keep climbing up here. Of course, you can definitely slow down the video if you need this a little slower. Cross that gap. And we go through here. There are some winged light we can find in the Eye of Eden. There are 10 pieces total. And this is like the second area. This one is a lot harder. Hi, Krill. So for this one, a cutscene's gonna play here. We're just gonna let it play out. And then we will run. In this area, some lightning will flash and then stones will fall down. And you wanna make sure that you were behind one of these things in some way as the stones come down or else you will lose your winged light. In this area here, there is a krill ahead. I like to wait until he passes. And then we'll hide. Once he goes down there, I just climb up. And I'll usually hide under here until he comes back. Once he's passed, you can just run up. Somehow he saw me. He usually does not. And then through here, there's another curl that passes over, but usually you can be fast enough to just go through, or you can just wait for him to pass. From here, we're going up. We have a lot more of that stone rain. All we have to do is hide behind these little barriers as best you can. There are some little sconces around. You can light to recharge. I like to go over to this side. Once the rocks end, I like to hide behind this stone. And I'll wait for the krill to go on the right hand side, just because they stay there the longest. However, this person got their attention, so it's going to be a little different for me. I'm going to go now, hide where this person is, and then go. We have another wing of light there, and we have eight more down this tunnel. Da, 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 da. All right, we did it. So this warning here means we are at the point of no return. If we pass this area, you cannot go back and play the game until you complete the Eye of Eden. But here we have our Princey Prince finishing his journey. Oh. Oh no! Prince! Alright, so now we have to light these statues by giving them our winged light. 
So no matter what, in this level, we are going to completely run out of Winged Light. Give another one here. We're also going to light the sconce. So we can keep our charge. There is a constant rock rain raining down. And we just want to head to the very end, that little white diamond shape over there. Continuously passing out Winged Light to all of these child statues. Because that will give us the most ascended candle currency, which is the currency we can use to purchase permanent wing buffs. Okay, once again, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I do a kind of strange route. If you've played the Eye of Eden before, I would just suggest doing your own route. But I usually go all the way up the right-hand side, and then I go back down on the left. That's just to make sure I haven't missed anything. You can see I'm waiting for the rain to subside before I continue. Okay, I have lost my light, which is not a big deal for me. I'm just going to head back along the left-hand side anyways, so I should be able to light myself. I'm going to finish these here, and then head towards the left-hand side and back down. Alright, and that should pretty much be it for statues. I guess we are just going to continue through. Now from this area, there is a constant barrage of rock rain. You can't stop it. My suggestion is just to walk straight. Don't jump. The jumping will knock you down more. Just walk straight to these statues and try to give up your winged light as best you can. If you're new, you're not going to get very far. Don't worry. You will get more light the more you play the game. Almost done. That, that. Alright. So at this point, all we have to do is keep walking towards this white diamond, and we should pass away. And now we're brought into a sort of a limbo. We falling. From here you wake up and you see a sky kid in the distance. We're just going to walk towards them. We help them up, give them a hug, just kidding, and then they will give us their winged light. So from here we're just going to fly up, I'm going to let it charge just a little bit usually, and then this will bring us to this really fun area of the game.
So this is the final location of the game, and I love it. It is so fun. There's so many ways to continuously charge, whether it be the clouds or creatures. And it's really satisfying to go through. Aww. It's so cute. And here we are visiting all of the past spirits we have found in the game. They will all give you wax if you run into them. And you will only see the spirits that you have relived. Give me lots of wax. Woo! They're a little tricky to get all of them. Alright, and then this portion is somewhat similar, but it shows your friends in the game. So we have these long chains of Sky Kids, and that will charge your wings. And then we'll have individual friends flying around, and if you run into them, you'll get wax as well. Here we go! So at this point we are now reborn. This area is called Orbit. These are all of the frozen statues we have saved. And they turn into ascended candle wax. They'll fly away, and then we can collect all this wax. Here we have a little constellation table, but we're going to skip that over because I see the prince in the distance. Hi prince! I'm so small. Hello, hello, hello. And finally, this is our final cutscene with the little prince. And he just wants to hold my hand. He wants to finish it together. Oh. No. Oh, but he'll see his rose again. It's so hard. Let's say goodbye first. Hi, Prince. Let's do some... Oh. Oh, he doesn't copy me. Why? That's too bad. Okay, there's not a whole lot we can do with him here, so let's just take him home. 
Oh, I'm gonna miss him. Oh man, bye Prince, see ya. Oh, so I did choose to skip the end cutscene just because there's nothing Little Prince related and I already know the cutscene. What's interesting is that we're getting revived back in the Starlight Desert. Very interesting. It's so weird to be back here, after Eden. Um... Alright, let's go talk to the Rose. And here is our finale cutscene. We fulfill the wish of this ancestor spirit. Oh. We're looking up at the stars and thinking of him. It's so sweet. Can you hear them? Huh? Hear what? Oh. I miss the prince already. They will all be your friends. Oh. Thank you for playing. Season of the Little Prince. Aww. You know what? This was one of the best seasons of all time. And it was their first collaborative season, and they did such a good job with it. I can't believe how well they merged two worlds. Like, the prince basically fit in the world. Based on Le Petit Prince. If you hadn't read the book or watched the movie, I would recommend doing so. I believe the movie's on Netflix in most places, and the book is very short. Featuring... Oh, I love this area. Beckoning Ruler, inspired by King. I really love that they made the actual models of the characters in the game. Gloating Narcissist, inspired by Conceited Man. They look nothing alike, but I, I like both of them a lot. Slouching Soldier inspired by a shamed man. I think his actual name is The Drunkard, but I can see why they want to keep that out. Star Collector inspired by Businessman. Hehehe, <laughs> so greedy. Stretching Lamplighter inspired by Lamplighter. And the Sneezing Geographer, inspired by the Geographer. 
I love the cosmetics they made this season. I think they're really good. I know they're all black and some people didn't enjoy that, but we really didn't have any black monotone cosmetics. So I think it fit this season. Plus it suits the theme of the little prince. And I actually do prefer the cosmetics made by TGC as opposed to the little prince cosmetics. I'm not really a fan of his outfit and his hair in the game. Oh, he's back home. And that is it for the season. That was, you know, arguably maybe the best season we've had so far. I loved it. It was so good. Now on to new things, though. I wonder when the next season will be here. Alright, so we can collect our final heart from the rose. And if we open our shop menu, we now have a new cape for sale for $24.99 USD. This is the Little Prince Asteroid Cape. It's going to be very exclusive. It's only going to be sold for the rest of the season. As soon as the season is over, it will be gone. As well as looking super cool, it has this added bonus where if your friends are holding your hand, you can teleport yourself and them to the secret area. It includes all the character models we just saw in that cutscene, the plane, and also the planets that the rose was sitting on through all of the cutscenes. It's a really interesting place and I will link a video below if you want to see what that looks like. We also now have access to the Little Prince Sword outfit, which you can get from the rose at the end of the constellation. This outfit costs 200 candles, and again, it's going to be very, very rare, only sold during this event. After the season has ended, it will never return. This outfit has a super cool sword, which is not functional. Unfortunately, you can't go krill hunting, but it's really, really neat. It's got these super cool boots, and I was trying it on with a lot of outfits that I have in the beta version of the game, and it looks great with almost everything. And now, finally, we can collect our last heart from the rose at the very top of the tree here. And it's sad, that is it for this season. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!